Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Really quick, because I forgot to do it in the last part when I noticed it. I'm gonna check my gear here and see what happens when I swap out the digging wedge for the well-worn wedges. Because it is, now that I see it, it's plural as opposed to sing singular. Uh, you know, the well-worn wedges. So if I drop a ball here, sand wedge. Yeah, it actually does get rid of your pitching wedge. Oh, that's interesting. It actually gets rid of your pitching wedge and sand wedge in favor of just one wedge. I mean, I guess, it, I guess it doesn't matter that much because I got precision mode and whatnot, you know, to change my distances, but that is interesting. Hmm. I probably should, at the very least, keep my digger wedge out because then I'll be able to see where digging spots are in the grounds and stuff like that. So I'll just leave it as is and hopefully... Hopefully I won't, uh, well, uh, forget to, like, change it before a round or something like that, but when I'm out in the overworld, I'll just keep the digger wedge. Alright, so... Well, now, wait a second, I don't... I don't know which ball I'm hitting to which bird, because remember here... Um, oh, it's red, okay. Because remember, in the last part, head over to the marked areas and hit the eggs to the right birds. The eggs are always the same color as the parents, so... I'm hitting a red ball, so I gotta hit... Oh! Okay, red ball first! Red ball first. So, where is the red parents? That looked orange to me, if you ask me. Uh... Oh, I see! They're, they're corresponding to each of those circles, whichever balls you hit. So, it's... okay. Um... Purple? Oh, purplish pink, I should say. Uh, where's the red then? Oh, way over here, okay. So we gotta get a ball over here. Can we do it? I think we can do it! Just as long as we anticipate the rollout and everything like that. There we go. There you go. Here's your egg. Enjoy. Yay! So... Uh, wait. Hold on. Okay. I, I, I just bet I the A button that time rather than the... Uh, 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 yeah, okay. I got the right color ball now. Wait, no, no, no. That's... that's Okay, there we go. Why was I aiming for the yellow? <laughs> it's clearly the orange one. I don't know. I don't know. I just see a circle and I aim for it. Oh, don't go outside the circle. Ow. 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 Oh, wait. Oh, that. Ah, the distance gap with my shovel. <laughs> like, why would they take out two wedges just for that one shovel? There you go. Enjoy. You know, the ball turns white when I hit to them. Did you notice that? <laughs> okay, tee up. Uh, shouldn't should be pretty, pretty straightforward, I think. Because it's a pretty wide open area and it's landing in rough, so it should just... So <laughs> the window's with me! How could I have been short? <laughs> okay, so it's not straightforward. Maybe it's higher up than it looks, I don't know. Let's try out a little bit further than I hit there. But yeah, I thought that was going to be pretty straightforward because it's I'm hitting it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I guess you don't mind that much, though. It's just as long as you get your egg back. All right. <laughs> I will consider that a success, despite uh, the bird might not be uh, all there at the moment. Just a, just a slight concussion. It'll recover. It'll be okay. Uh, where's the other circles? Mm, yeah, there's a three over there on that side. Uh, oh, I ripped that thing for hours, but nothing. You didn't uh, mistake coconut oil for the two stroke, did you? <laughs> what? I may have. There he is! I've upgraded our plan. We're going to need some dino material. What are we going to do with this? <laughs> It's <laughs> time for explanations. I'm waiting on a shipment of dynamo material. But the materials, they didn't arrive. Here they're divided to a park nearby. Go have a look, will you? It's very important. A nearby park. Okay, I'll go check it out. So we get a new area lot opened up. Thank you. Well, in any I should actually talk to them again. What are we going to do with the dynamo material? We'll find out. Hmm. I managed to get some of the dynamo material in the form of a disc? Oh no! It's... So that means I already got the idea... I mean, I already got the thing from the guys, didn't I? Disc? Nay, that's a frisbee. 
but it will be enough. Wait, this, wait there a moment. Yeah, I heard because I beat that side quest in the other part. Remember with the disc jockeys? Need you a little present. Dynamo Woods! Whoa, baby! I think we got some upgraded power. Come on, you ready to play the course yet? No, I am not. <laughs> uh, ready for our realm? Still working on it. Uh, so let's see what that what those clubs were then. Uh, one more in woods. Dynamo Woods. Ten, plus 10 yards high loft. So that means it'll match the oversized irons. Plus 10 yards. Okay. So I guess now I can officially erase that gap, aside from the digging wedge, of course. <laughs> this, this is an unconventional golf game in general, so I'm sure we'll be able to manage. Uh, so we got a blue. That is, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, a precision mode. Actually, I should hit through that tree, shouldn't I? Oh, no, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oh, let's shoot. I keep... I'm getting my confused mixed up. I mean, I've got my controller confused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hit point mode. Get it higher. Then slow it down. And hit through the tree. There we go. Okay. There we go. I just want to slow it down by hitting through the tree if possible. So it doesn't go over the edge. Oh. Of course, it goes over the front edge. <laughs> I know the wind is against me, but still. It shouldn't, shouldn't knock it down that much. But I guess it did. But I guess it did. Oh, I forgot to change the hit point. Well, will it make it? It did not make it anyway. Bah! Bah, I say. <laughs> we'll get it. Oh, don't worry. Those, those eggs, they got many eggs. They, 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 they don't know how many they really lost. They just want one egg. <laughs> we got like 800 blue eggs here, but they, they're okay with just one. There we go. So four out of five there. Where's the last one? It's, maybe it's gonna be like in the other area. Perhaps, maybe, might be. Let's check it out. Mm. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> At least I don't know just yet. Looking for just one more circle. The circle of life. The circle of eggs. Did the egg hatch into the bird, or the bird hatch into the egg? Who knows? Who knows? Actually, I think the scientists determined it was the egg or something like that. <laughs> if I recall correctly. Because it's something like that had to do with evolution and that the, the bird had to uh, come from the egg because it had to be in, in terms of that genetics to come from the egg or something like that or, or whatnot. I forgot how it went. It was the whole chicken and egg theory, but I could be wrong in my... Oh, there's a secret hole over there. I could be wrong in my remembrance of what they said there. So I guess this is the one I'm supposed to hit to. Oh, that... Look at the difference between the two iron and the four wood. That is weird. Well, in theory, the iron should have more spin. Anyway, I gotta hit to the hit to that bird over there. And there you go, green ball to a green bird. Here you go. Arrah! That's where the nest was. Okay. Yay! What about talking back over to you now? How'd they go? I hit all the eggs back. Hopefully, that takes care of the birds for now. I don't know about all the eggs in all honesty, but I, I hit the eggs. It's time for your lesson, but nobody has returned to watch a shop yet. I'll take good care of it. Please? <laughs> I'm only asking for... a chance. But, well, okay. We'll give you another chance. Just don't steal eggs from birds anymore. I think. At least that's that would be up to me, my, my way of thinking there. <laughs> it looks. I, I, I bet she's going for it. Yeah, it looks like it. How much for a sandwich? An or oat bar and a small juice. Seven forty-five. What is the course record? Four under par. Set by yourself. Ooh, she's good. I've shown up ten minutes late for a tea time. I'll play it down. But take a mental note to tell the marshal. I think you're ready. <laughs> Just giving them the rundown. <laughs> Come and get me if anything goes wrong. Alright, so. We got the names. Of, I mean, we got all the food and items memorized. Everything is good to go. Yes, I do. Can I buy this now? 
Ah, so close. So close. I'd like to buy everything if at all possible, but, well, you sh I'm probably going to get paid for the lesson, I as ironic as that sounds. I'm press pressing no first. You seemed quite eager a second ago. All right, lesson time. Yes, I am. I love your enthusiasm. So I guess we weren't able to play the round as quickly as I thought I would have been able to play it uh, like a couple of parts ago, because we had some other quests to do for the main quest to actually get into it. And this is one of them. You're going to read the wind using only your eyes. Pay attention to the leaves and wind in the air. And watch the trees and bushes sway in the wind. I guess that's what those little uh, white lines and yellow things floating in the air like flower petals are. I'll give you a point if you land on the green, and a bonus point if you land in the area marker. So yeah, it's not showing me any sort of wind. I just, I guess I gotta assume the wind based on the uh, direction that everything is flying in and whatnot, so that is the challenge I guess we're doing here. I was not playing for enough wind for sure. <laughs> That's okay though. We'll get the hang of this. Uh, very little wind now, it looks like. So I guess I'll hit back over there, and hope for the best. Roll out and get in that ring, please. Beautiful-ish. Oh, it's one point to get on the green. One, uh, probably an extra point if you get in the ring. I probably wasn't paying much attention, was I? <laughs> I just got too excited. Okay, so the wind looks like it's going up to the left. I'm hitting way over to the right, and it's also a pretty quick wind, so... Ooh, it's looking good, looking good! Ah, I gotta get one of them in the ring eventually, right? Mm, little teeny tiny bit of wind over to the right and forward, I guess. Uh, I guess you go to precision mode and knock it back a smidge. Something like there. And... Best of luck to me! Stop, 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 stop. Oh, hit the edge of the hole! Alright, oh, I think we got this. We are feeling the wind. We are at one with nature. Nothing can stop us now. For we are the wind. The wind is us. All our wind is belong to us. As is the slope. Which is straight ahead. <laughs> This is my last shot, and I got enough points. Oh no, it's two hits left, my bad. My bad. Uh, getting an idea for the win, though. <clears throat> when this is gonna be like an actual challenge, like later on, they're just priming me for it, like on the actual course or something like that. Like maybe they'll say that the wind marker at the upper right corner that's normally there is malfunctioning or something like that, the wind detector, and we're gonna have to read it by eye or something. That would be a pretty cool idea. Woo! We can afford those clubs! So, what do you think about my swing? Well, uh, it was okay. Ah! Your club face delivery seemed to vary up to 10 degrees in either direction. That's a lot, actually. <laughs> you twist your wrist at the end of your swing. This gives you a very small window of opportunity for good contact. Yet you manage to control a ball quite well. Is that good? <laughs> I would say yes. It's very peculiar. Sure, your swing may not be technically sound, but that can work for some people. Oh. <laughs> Everybody has to find the swing that works for them. I've never seen somebody play so well with so many swing faults. <laughs> you are either very lucky or incredibly coordinated. I see. So Coach wasn't completely wrong with some of the things he said, but I get results. I have a lesson with a new student. I'll see you later. Okay. And she probably just vanishes in thin air. I still need to play the course. Better f find my caddy. Probably over on uh, that left side over there. But I'm going to go buy those clubs now that I can afford them. Because I'm guessing, because remember it gives you more accuracy? I think it's going to balance um, with the whole set thing a little bit better. So I'm going to try equipping them right now. Because remember I said that the two iron is way off from the forward? So I'm going to try with the precision irons here and... Uh, See the gapping, how that's gonna be really quick, just to drop a ball anywhere and just... I said I'm gonna drop a ball anywhere, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a bit closer. But I, I think I lost my... Uh, lost my iron spin. 
<laughs> Two Wood is such a weird club to have. <laughs> uh, let me try something else here. I'm just gonna go ahead and go back over to Well Worn Woods, drop the ball, and. Uh, yeah, that's way less, of course. Okay, so what if we go all the way back to just the well worn irons? Like the basic. Basic of the basic irons. Uh, that's still. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I forgot to switch back over to. The Dynamo Woods. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> just piling up the balls over there. Uh, yeah, that's still not quite matching and gapping. Well, well, I'm probably better off with more clubs than less clubs, so I should probably go over to the oversized irons and switch back over to the well-worn wedges so I get the pitching wedge and the sand wedge back. And then I'll talk to him for my round in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then when we start our first real deal round over at Cheeky Beak Peak.